We can use function notation for three different things. First thing we can use function notation for is to graph an equation of a line. f of x is just another way of writing y. If you have this f of x, it means the exact same thing as y. You could actually write a y right on top of f of x and graph the equation y equals 2x plus 1, where your slope would be 2 or 2 over 1, and your y-intercept would be positive 1. That's one way that you're going to see function notation. You may also see function notation on a graph like we have over here. If you see f of negative 1, that negative 1 is in the same place that the x normally resides inside of that parenthesis. So you're going to go to your x-axis at negative 1, which would be right up here. And we're going to come down to the y, and we can see that it's right here between negative 4 and negative 5. So our f of negative 1 would equal negative 4.5. Again, if we look at f of 3, the 3 is in the place where normally the x is at. So we're going to go to our x-axis at 3, which will be right up right here. We're going to move straight down our line until we run into our blue line. And we came down 7 spots, so f of 3 would equal negative 7. This means that when x is 3, y equals negative 7. The last place we can look at function notation is evaluating expressions. Again, sometimes instead of f of x, you may see g of x. It means the same as y. We would have y equals and then if you look here, we've got g of x minus 5. This is in the same spot the plane x would normally go. So in our expression right here, we're going to take that x and replace it with x minus 5. We have negative 3 times x minus 5 plus 7. We simplify this expression by distributing first get y equals negative 3x plus 15 plus 7, which gives us a final of negative 3x plus 22. And that's how we would use function notation. Thank you.